Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, I am going to show you TDS process overview. It is very important to every one of you to know the complete process of TDS cycle. If you know the entire cycle, it will become easy to you to understand how many steps are completed and where are you right now and what are the balance steps. So before talking about the TDS process overview first, why government introduced TDS? To introduce TDS, there are several reasons behind it, but there are three important and the three are timely collection of taxes and to create a regular flow of revenue to the government and to enable tracking system. See the assessment tax paid once in a year, advance tax paid once in a quarter, but government is looking for a revenue on a regular basis on transaction or monthly basis it enabled with the help of tds and the one one of the main reason is to enable tracking system if there is no tds system introduced government will not be able to track who is the payer who is the receiver for payer how much it is expenditure for receiver how much the income it is so with the help of tds government is now able to track for a payer how much expenditure it is for a receiver how much income it is so government is collecting all payer and receiver information with the help of tds there are other reasons but three these three are important reasons now we'll start the tds process overview the tds process overview always starts from the payer hand let's imagine you are Mr. Kumar or you are ABC Private Limited. You are an individual or organization, no matter. TDS is always applicable if it is subject to. So whether you, you are an individual or organization, when you hire services from outside people, from outside companies, so when someone are rendering services to you, let's imagine there is a person, Mr. Mohan, or XYZ company. So Mr. Kumar is owner of the business and Mr. Mohan delivering services to Mr. Kumar. So you may consider as individual or organization. I'll go on with the names for easy understanding. So Kumar is a person hired Mr. Mohan for some services. So Mr. Mohan will be delivering services to Kumar and as a benefit of services has been received from Mohan, Kumar will be making a payment to Mr. Mohan. As, as the services rendered by Mr. Mohan, Kumar will be making a payment to Mr. Mohan. But as per the TDS provisions and TCS provisions, when Kumar making a payment to Mohan, Kumar needs to follow, Kumar needs to obey the rules of Indian Income Tax Act. As per the rules, when if there is any payment exceeding the limits that are set up by the Indian Income Tax Department, if any payment exceeding threshold limits, Mr. Kumar will not be giving full money to Mohan. Mr. Kumar, as per norms, Mr. Kumar will be deducting some taxes and Kumar will be getting only partial, Kumar will be giving only partial income to Mr. Mohan and Kumar will hold some money with him. And whatever taxes deducted by Mr. Kumar, here Kumar is deducting taxes so Kumar is known as deductor and Mohan from whom we deducted a TDS is known as deductee okay so Kumar after deducting TDS from deductee Kumar will be depositing these deducted taxes with the government on monthly basis where the payment date is 7th of subsequent month which means in the month of April whatever TDS deducted will be deposited to government on or before 7th of May. So this cycle goes on for a quarter, April, May, June. So for these three months, the taxes will be deposited on income tax portal, but not on the name of Mr. Mohan, but on the name of Mr. Kumar only, these taxes will be deposited on Kumar's tan card. So whatever taxes deducted from Mohan, will not be paid, will not be deposited directly on Mohan's PAN card. Initially, the taxes that are deducted will be deposited on income tax portal on deductor's TAN card. 
tax deduction and collection account number just like a temporary bank account the money will be deposited on Kumar's PAN card every time this cycle goes for three months every time Kumar makes payments deducts TDS deposit on income tax portal on deductors TAN number may make the payment deduct the TDS deposit TDS on deductors TAN card even for the month of June also make the payment deduct the TDS deposit on Kumar's TAN card. So Kumar is a deductor, deducted the TDS from Mohan and deposited on Kumar's TAN card only, deductor's TAN card only. The cycle goes for three months. After three months, Kumar is liable to explain, deductor is liable to explain in the last three months how much TDS deducted how much TDS deposited and which chalan belongs to which pay, which section and which section belongs to which deductee. This complete information because at the time of depositing on income tax portal, Kumar, the deductor did not explain any information about the deductee. This deductor just deposited on his name. He did not explain. There is no system to explain. So after completion of a three months, the deductor needs to prepare a form called as form 24Q, 26Q, 27Q, 27EQ. By filling information in these forms, what information he will fill, he will explain in the last three months to how many people he made a payment, how much TD is deducted, how much TD is deposited, which BSR code, which chalan belongs to, which deductee. He will fill the information in these following forms. After filling the forms, he will upload the forms on income tax portal, which is called as TDS returns filing. As soon the deductor explains about the deductee information for last three months, whatever amount available under TAN card will now move from deductor's PAN card to deductee's PAN card, from deductor's TAN card to deductee's PAN card. And so this is the, so now monthly process is also completed, quarterly process is also completed. And again, the income tax portal will share information to TDS traces portal. Every information that is uploaded in income tax portal will be forwarded to TDS traces portal for reconciliation and mismatch correction purposes. Yeah, so the income tax portal will forward information to TDS traces portal again. This deductor needs to log in on income tax portal. The deductor needs to go to TDS traces portal and issue a form 16 or 16A to the deductee. Why it is mandatory? Because a deductor is the responsible person who deducted TDS, deposited TDS and he is a responsible person to issue the proof. Form 16 or 16A serves as a proof. Okay, in the last one year, total how much how many times I paid, how much TDS I deducted, how much I deposited, it is a proof, that it is a certificate of TDS deductions and deposits. And here, if this person employed in this organization, the employer will be giving Form 16 to employ. If this person received other than salary services, then he will be issuing Form 16. Form 16 is a tedious statement on salary. Form 16A is a tedious statement on other than salary. So whatever is applicable to him, deductor will be giving a tedious certificate to deductee. So the deductor role and deductor process will be completed. After completing one financial year, in the next year, the employee or the service provider needs to file income tax return on income tax portal. Let's imagine, just for example, I'll take 
you already work in a company where the person's monthly salary 1 lakh and deducted TDS 10,000. So on yearly basis, how much TDS is deducted? 1 lakh 20,000. What is the person's income? The person's income will be monthly 1 lakh, so yearly 12 lakhs. So now he need to explain. Let's imagine other than these 2 lakhs, he also got extra income from some other source of income. So the in imagine total income is 20 lakhs but on this person the taxes deducted and deposited only for 12 lakhs so because he have extra income he need to file income tax return and he also need to pay the additional taxes to the government because he have more income than estimated so he need to file income tax return he need to pay taxes this is case one let's imagine there is case two so we assumed his income is 12 lakhs and total taxes deposited on his bank card is 1 lakh 20,000. Imagine out of 20 lakh, out of 12 lakhs of income, he have some medical expenses, medical life insurance, health insurance, home loan, tuition fees. He have so many deductions and exemptions. Because with the help of these deductions and exemption, he could reduce his income to only 3 lakhs. How, on what income we deducted and deposited TDS on 12 lakhs but after completing financial year in next year he is going to file income tax return by explaining his income only 3 lakhs if the information is correct whatever taxes deposited on his name the taxes will be given back to him in the name of income tax refund so this is a short cycle of TDS and TCS returns.